Many parts of the world have never been seen by people in real life, only through photographs and film. But who gets to take the photos? Who are the ones who get to travel into the unknown and experience things that we have only dreamed of? Through the early 20th century, Martin and Osa Johnson were the ones who went to the extremes to show us different ways of life. Martin and Osa Johnson were an untouchable couple who explored the unknown in remote parts of Africa and the South Seas. Martin and Osa Johnson explored and encountered new land and new people while providing the idea that a couple could be equal and exhibiting their vision of the new world to the common man through film, speech, and literacy. The land of Africa and the South Seas were like the moon to Americans. You just didn't go there. The Johnsons were just two people from small towns in Kansas who craved adventure. Osa and Martin met in Osa's hometown of Chinook, Kansas, while Martin was doing lectures there on his most recent travels. The two instantly fell in love and got married three weeks later. Martin was ready to return to his adventurous lifestyle with his new wife, but as a small town girl who hadn't left her hometown too much, Osa was reluctant. Eventually, the Johnsons left for their first expedition in the South Seas from San Francisco in 1970. Martin and Osa Johnson began the adventures in 1917 that would change the world. Their first adventure was in the South Seas on the island of Maluka, which is around the islands of Anuta. This island was inhibited by the Big Mamas, a head-hunting, cannibalistic tribe. This tribe was not easily photographed or filmed because they were dangerous. There in Maluka, the Johnsons filmed their first movie, Among the Cannibals of the South Pacific. Their movie was a big hit. The Johnsons became popular household names in the 1920s and 30s because of their movies. Martin and Osa really brought a new light on things people thought were imaginary. After their trip to the South Seas, the Johnsons decided to go to Africa. In Africa, they found out about a lake where they could photograph and film animals up close. They dubbed this lake, Lake Paradise. The Johnsons stayed there for three months, then ran out of supplies and went home, but promised to return, which they did. They returned and stayed for four years the second time, giving the name to a book Osa wrote, Four Years in Paradise. Upon returning from their first trip to Paradise, the Johnsons premiered a movie, Trailing African Wild Animals, and published a book, Camera Trails in Africa. Osa was a very important factor in these trips. She would create a safe and comfortable home for the two, while vigorously protecting her and her husband. While on this trip, Africa shot a charging rhino to protect her, her husband, and crew. Osa was an amazing hunter. She used a rod and a gun to hunt usually. The Johnsons headed home from this expedition in 1927. The Johnsons returned to Africa in 1928, eight months after they had previously left, and went to the Belgian Congo, which is now Zaire, to film the rare white rhinos. During this trip in Africa, the Johnsons had the company of three Eagle Scouts who had won a competition in order to accompany them. The Eagle Scouts continued in this trip until 1929. The Johnsons, while in Africa, shot videos of gorilla and tribes in Congo. The Johnsons used this footage to create a movie with sound called Congorilla. This was a big deal to the people of America. It allowed them to hear the sounds they never imagined hearing. During this trip, Osa captured three gorillas, two chimpanzees, and many monkeys, which were all sold to American zoos. In 1932, while the Johnsons were in America, they decided it would be beneficial to learn how to fly. They learned how to fly in Osa's hometown of Chinook, Kansas. After learning how to fly, they went to Africa and accomplished many things, like being the first pilots to fly over Mount Kilimanjaro. On this trip, they also used the planes to take beautiful aerial shots of Borno and Africa. Once the Johnsons were home from the expedition with their recently acquired planes, the two decided to go on tour and showcase their new photos and videos. While on tour, Martin died in a plane crash. Osa sustained only neck, back, and knee injuries, so continued to tour around. After Martin's death, Osa wrote an incredibly popular book called I Married Adventure. Osa then died in New York City in 1953 before returning to Africa. Osa Johnson was a woman who was elegant, yet intense, and passionate. She was an incredibly influential woman to the people of the early 20th century. Osa was a fashion icon at the time for active women. She showed women that they could be active, beautiful, and productive at the same time. Osa was named one of America's best dressed by the Fashion Academy in New York. Not only back then did she influence fashion, she does now as well. 
Osa and Martin had an American Eagle Outfitters store named after them, called Martin and Osa. Osa also has a current Kate Spade line that includes her book title, I Married Adventure, featuring her signature zebra stripes. Osa is not just famous for her fashion impact, she was an impeccable hunter as well. She constantly saved the lives of her crew members and the life of her husband, showing the housewives that it's not just the men who protect their spouse anymore. Osa might have made more of an impact individually than Martin, but together the two created an unfathomable impact on many people. The Johnsons brought light on the dark, unknown side of the world to lots of people. Together they made 14 feature films, 37 short educational films, and 7 books. Their films showed people lions and elephants in their natural habitats. The Johnsons didn't just travel to get money, they were very passionate about what they did. One of Osa's best-selling books, Four Years in Paradise, was about her and Martin's favorite trip to Lake Paradise. Only Osa and I and the elephants know where Lake Paradise is, and Osa and I won't tell. Martin Johnson from Four Years in Paradise. Osa and Martin really loved their adventures together. Their love for adventure will grow on generation after generation because of their museum in Osa's hometown of Chinoo. The museum is well kept up and shows the wonderful and exotic lives of Martin and Osa. The Johnsons explored so many new things for over 10 years. They showed new and different ways of life and new and different ways of environment of land seldom explored by people. Martin and Osa showed people that there were different ways of living and different animals than the ones where they were. The Johnsons explored and encountered many new things and introduced them to the modern world through film, speech, and literacy.